Well, they tell me they are, of course, saddened by this latest act of violence. Yet another dog found badly beaten and abused left to die in the city. Now police are asking for your help. For two of our dogs um, that were pits. Permanent and forever. Yeah, for Jack and Leo. Paw prints tattooed on Aaron Cutso's arm help her remember. Two dogs that I'd had for a long time and they had passed away. Wednesday, her children play just yeah. feet from where a Richmond school employee stumbled upon a devastating crime. We have two pits, so it really kind of struck a nerve for me. On Friday afternoon behind John B. Carey Elementary near Bird Park. So another horrible case. Richmond Animal Care and Control say a female dog was found dead inside of a dumpster. I think the dog was strangled and put in the dumpster. Well, the leash was wrapped around her neck is like a hunter green um, slip lead. RACC director Christy Chips Peters believes someone dumped the dog in the middle of the day. The park was full of people. I mean, there were kids and families everywhere. We found the dog very soon after she was put in there because her body was still very intact. She says a microchip under the pit bull skin has helped detectives. The owner of the dog had rehomed her. She's been very helpful in giving us some information. But now officers want surveillance video and eyewitnesses to come forward. Well, as a pet owner, definitely upsetting. So this mother's children can play in peace. So I hope that that person is really scared <laughs> of getting caught and realizes the severity of what they've done. Well, I'm told the dog is a pit bull about three years old, a black body, white toes, and a white chest. Later at six, I'll explain why cameras at this school may not help find this killer. Right.